First look at MIUI 12 port from the Xiaomi Mi 8 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at MIUI 12 port from the Xiaomi Mi 8 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Before we start off, do note this is a port so do not expect it to be perfect. You will find some minor issues. Next up, the port is very deep bloated and you do not have many of the Chinese applications installed. They have been removed by the developer. Now, those of you who want to use the health and the weather applications, all you need to do is download the APKs which are linked in the description of this video, install them like any other app using the file manager and you should be good to go. Next up, face unlock works absolutely fine and it does use the infrared camera on the POCO F1. There is no always on display because the POCO F1 does have a LCD panel and always on display and LCD panels do not go well together. The SD card issue has been fixed. You can find the patch in the telegram group for this port which can be again found in the description of this video and you will also find it in the pinned comment and before i forget how do you install this port well as always you'll find the video in the description of this video and also in the pinned comment next up quick charging does work out of the box how do i know well i connected the phone to my laptop and to my 18 watt charger and i could see quick charge on the lock screen which means quick charge is working absolutely fine as for the brightness bug which was in the previous build that has also been fixed and the developers have also added xiaomi's screen recorder which will let you record games with internal audio so that is another positive point of this rom while we are talking about apps google play store does come baked in with this build so you do not have to install google play services explicitly you will be able to download apps from the play store and your contacts will also be synced so let me open the contacts app here it is these are the two contacts which i have on my account and they are synced successfully from my google account those of you who want to play with google assistant all you need to do is download the google app and the google assistant application you can either download them from the play store or you can find the apks which are linked in the description of this video okay google install those apks clear the data for set an alarm for google 7 a.m and the google assistant and then set up your voice using the google app and you should be good to go now in terms of gestures, smoothness, everything is pretty good. The build which was released did have some lag issues and those were because of MIUI launcher. Ever since then, there has been a new build of MIUI launcher, which you can find in the description of this video. All you would need to do is boot into to up recovery, mount your system partition and then flash the zip file and you should be good to go pretty smooth pretty cool pretty dope animations in the building and of course that is something which you do expect from xiaomi and yes you do have control center in the building as well let us now jump into the features so we can go into settings sim card and mobile networks yes you do have the option of setting your default sim for calls and the default sim for your data then we can go into bluetooth go into additional settings Yes, you do have the new toggles wherein you can easily pair compatible devices. And if you want to see Bluetooth devices which do not have a MAC address, you have a toggle for that as well. Then we can go into lock screen. And yes, you do have raise to wake and double tap to wake or turn off your screen. Both those options work absolutely fine. And in lock screen clock format, you will find a new format, which is this one over here. This is the new one which Xiaomi has added with MIUI 12. Then we can go into display brightness level. Yes, automatic brightness does work. And you also have the option of sunlight mode. However, to use sunlight mode, you will have to disable automatic brightness and then you can enable the toggle for sunlight mode. Now, what will sunlight mode do? Well, it is going to adjust the brightness to strong ambient light when automatic brightness is off. So I guess this is something which you can use when you are outdoors if you go into color scheme you will be able to change the colors from auto saturated and standard and you can also configure your color temperature default warm cool or custom whatever you like then you also have dark mode 2.0 in the building 
once you enable it you do have the toggle to adjust the wallpaper to dark mode option working absolutely fine and you also have the option to adjust the contrast automatically here it is you can see that this option is also working like a boss then if we go into text size and font weight you can of course change the weight of the font now in miui 12 and if we go into notch and status bar you do have the option of hiding the notch hide without moving the status bar and hide and move the status bar all these three options are working absolutely fine then you can also configure your notch in individual applications and if you do not like this iphone or ios style notification center or control center as xiaomi calls it you can use this toggle to turn it off and bam here it is we now have the old school notification center or control center then if you go into battery indicator you can configure three different kind of battery styles now the option which is missing over here is the battery bar i guess that option is missing from this build because we do have a notch and a battery bar won't make any sense the option is present on the redmi k20 pro though then if you go into sound and vibration yes you do have the option of profile video for incoming calls and yes it works absolutely fine in case you want a video playing on the screen when someone calls you next up we can go into notifications and notification shade yes you do have the option of group notifications wherein xiaomi's ai is going to group the push and promotional notifications automatically and i think this is a very nice feature which xiaomi has added with me ui 12. then you also have customization for your home screen you can of course change your default launcher in case you want to and out of the box you will have the option of swipe up on home screen is going to open the content center which is in chinese and i personally do not like it so there it is it's in chinese so if you want to disable this all you need to do is go into settings home screen and then swipe up on home screen just set it to none that is how i like it then if you go into wallpaper you do have the option of super wallpapers you might have to download one of these wallpapers so make sure you're connected to the internet and once you download them oh my god these super wallpapers are in fact super cool and they look super awesome next up we can also open the themes application go into my account and then if you go into themes you can of course import the themes so if you have any mtz files which are compatible with me ui 12 you should not have any issues with that and if you go into theme lab you also have the option of transparent wallpaper so once we enable this option there it is you do see that my background over here changed so once we enable this option you can set any wallpaper as the transparent wallpaper so here it is right now it is the c1 so we can go back into the themes application and try changing this so here we are on the home screen we'll go into wallpapers and let's say we want to use this one so we'll tap on it click on apply here it is we have a new option set as transparent wallpaper applied successfully and now if i go into my settings application or sorry go into themes and go into my account themes lab transparent wallpaper here it is the wallpaper has changed you can also select what all applications you want to use this transparent wallpaper in so again a pretty nifty feature and in fact you can also change the opacity level i'm pretty sure down the line xiaomi is going to remove this feature from themes lab and add it as a major feature moving over to the camera application now the camera application does work absolutely fine but this is not the miui camera from miui 12 because you do not have the customization of theming this and there was another feature wherein you could take pictures with the screen off by pressing the volume down key so those features are not available in this build and i guess that is because the camera was not working perfectly but this baked in miui camera works absolutely fine and of course i am going to leave a link in the description of this video and in the pinned comment to a very nice gcam port which should work fine with this rom moving over to battery we do have ultra battery saver in the building and other than that you do have the new ui and I did not notice any excessive battery drain or anything like that so with respect to battery the rom is pretty good then we also have new ui for screen time so you have day you have the option of week you have graphs for both of those you can always configure your 
daily screen limit if you want and you also have focus mode on top now so you can always set it to 30 60 or 90 minutes and in case you do not like any of those options you can choose a custom duration between 20 and 180 minutes next up if we go into special features you do have with your toolbox something which lets you record your screen and take a screenshot while you are in another application floating windows in the building as well work absolutely fine a pretty nifty feature from xiaomi the only downside is that you cannot have more than one floating window open at the same time and then you also have light mode something which makes your screen items and your font bigger so that it is easier to read for peeps who have you know visibility issues so all in all i would say a pretty good build and once you install the new launcher there are no lags you don't have to reduce the animation scale or anything like that and of course you know it is a beta build so there will be some minor issues which you might come across but it is good to see developers working hard and getting the poco f1 miui 12 builds even before xiaomi can release them for the global variant of their devices so there it is peeps that was our first look at miui 12 port from the xiaomi mi 8 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and here's a bug in the light mode as soon as i switched back to the normal mode i lost my gestures so it went back to the old school navigation now i guess you of course have to expect some bugs in beta builds so that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you